One day, Jinjil was out hunting. He heard the honey call of Ningere. Jinjil's mouth began to water at the thought of the sweet treat. He stopped and listened carefully, searching until he found the little fellow among the branches above his head. Chitik, chitik, chitik. The little bird rattled, like the sound of a matchbox shaken lengthwise. When Ningede saw that he had an interested partner, he quickly began moving through the branches towards the nest. Chitik, 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 he continued, stopping several times to be sure that Jinjel followed. After 30 minutes or so, they reached a huge wild fig tree. Ningere hopped about madly among the branches. He then settled on one branch and cocked his head, looking at Jinjel as if to say, Here it is. Come now. What is taking you so long? Jinjel could not see anything from his place on the forest floor, but he knew Honey Guide's reputation for finding big, ripe nests flowing with sweet honey. Jinjel deposited his hunting tools at the foot of the tree. He then gathered some dry twigs and made a small fire. As soon as the flames were well established, Jinjel put a long dry stick into the heart of the fire. This wood was especially known to make lots of smoke while it burned. As soon as he was sure it was properly burning, he began climbing the cool end of the branch clamped in his mouth. Soon, he could hear the loud buzzing of the busy bees. Ah, he thought to himself, I can almost smell the sweetness in the air. How I love the taste of honey. When he reached the place of the hive, he quickly thrust the burning, smoking end of the branch into the hollow. The bees came rushing out, angry and mean. When most of them were out, Jinjel pushed his hand into the nest. He took out handfuls of the heavy comb, dripping with rich honey and full of fat, white grubs. He ignored the few stings he received. Placing the comb carefully in the pouch he wore around his neck and chest. When the nest was empty, Jinjel slowly made his way back down the tree.